Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you get an error message, device is at risk because it's out of date and missing important security and quality updates. This error means that your Windows operating system is missing critical updates, putting your device at risk. It is often it often results from failed or a corrupted updates issue with the Windows update services or system file corruption. There are a couple of ways to go ahead and fix this issue. Now, the first method to resolve this issue is to go ahead and run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the Start button and then click on Settings. Once you are on these settings, you will have to go ahead and click on System. And then on the right hand side, you will have to locate for Troubleshoot. Click on Troubleshoot and then click on Other Troubleshooter. In this list, you will have to go ahead and locate for Windows Update. Click on Run to execute the Windows Update Troubleshooter and follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the screen. Close this window, restart your computer and then try to install the updates and check if you are able to install the updates. So you can do a right click and then click on Settings and then on the left hand side click on Windows Update and click on Check for the updates and see if you are able to install this update. In case if you are able to install the updates, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and clear the Windows Update Cache on the computer. To do this, you will have to open the Services window. So you can do a right click on the Start button and then click on Run. In the Run window, you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should open the Services window. In this list, you will have to go ahead and find Windows Update update it will be in alphabetical order so you can do a right click and then click on properties and then click on stop click on ok once this service has been stopped here you will have to navigate to a particular location that is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on file explorer once you're on the file explorer go to the c drive and under the c drive you will have to go and locate for windows folder it would be in alphabetical order double click on windows folder and from here you will have to locate for software distribution double click on software distribution delete all the data what is there in the software distribution by doing a right click and delete in case if you get any message saying that the file access is denied you may go ahead and click skip that particular file close this window and then go back to the services window enable or start the services which we disabled earlier so find windows update do a right click and then click on properties and then click on start and also make sure the startup type has been set to automatic click on apply and then click on ok close this window restart your computer and then try to install the updates by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings and then click on windows update and then click on check for the updates and that should install the updates now in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and reset windows update services now to do this you will have to open the command prompt so in the search window you may go ahead and type cmd you will see the best match for the command prompt do a right click on the command prompt and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt you will have to run or execute couple of commands in this in, in the in the same sequence so you can copy the command from the video description the first command is to stop the windows update services copy the command do a right click and hit enter that will stop the windows update service and the second command is stop the background intelligent transfer service do a right click and hit enter in case if you get any error message you can ignore that because that service is not running and then the next command is to stop the crypto service hit enter next command is to go ahead and rename the software distribution folder the one which we did earlier hit enter and the next command is to rename the cat root folder hit enter now we are going to start the services which you had stopped earlier so the next command is to stop the start the windows update service and the next command following that you should start execute the command to start the background intelligent transfer service and the last command is to start the crypto service you can do a right click paste and hit enter that should start all the services which we had disabled earlier close this window restart your computer and then try to go ahead and install the updates by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings and then click on windows update and then click on check for the updates now all this step should definitely fix the problem 
So in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.